Hello, everyone. Once again, thank you so much for your time. Today, our topic for discussion is signal representation. Today, I actually continue what I'm not able to finish at my previous video. Today, we're going to emphasize on constellation diagram. I will use constellation diagram to represent a two level and four level ASK amplitude shift keying. I also will utilize constellation diagram to represent BPSK and QPSK. So hence, this is our objective for today. How to use constellation diagram to represent a ASK signal or a BPSK signal. So this is my email. If you have any difficulties, please reach out to me. The first task that we're going to do today is two ASK, two level amplitude shift keying. When the level is two, there are only two possible outcome. Either the message is zero or the message is one. And when the message is zero, I can use this equation to represent it. And when the message is one, again, I can use this equation to represent it. Can you see that the difference is actually on the amplitude? When the message is zero, I actually have an amplitude of two. And when the message is one, I actually have a magnitude of amplitude of five. So let's start by representing this signal in a constellation diagram. So when the data is actually zero, okay, I can actually indicate in green dot over here. So over this dot position, okay, I can quantify this as having a magnitude of two and a phase shift of zero. So this is how I can indicate that the data is actually a zero. Next, when the data is one, how can I indicate? Okay, it's basically by this blue dot here. So having a magnitude of five and a phase shift of zero, so with this, I can actually quantify that this is a data of one with a blue dot having the magnitude of five and a phase shift of zero. So this is how I can represent a two level ASK signal. So after two level, okay, let's do four level of ASK. As this is a four level, so there are four possible outcome. Either the message is zero, zero, 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1. And how I'm going to indicate this in a constellation diagram. Okay, when the message is 0, 0, it can be represented by the amplitude of 2. So this is how I can represent when the message is 0, 0, with a magnitude of 2 and a phase shift of 0 degree. So next, when the data is actually 0, 1, okay, I actually can increase my magnitude to 3. Again, with a phase shift of zero. And from here, the red dot actually indicates that the data is zero, one. And from this position, okay, you can see that they have a magnitude of three and a phase shift of zero. Next, let's move on when the data is one, zero. Actually, they have a magnitude of four and I can indicate with this purple dot here. So from here, you can obtain that the magnitude is actually four with a phase shift of zero degree. Last but not least, when the data is one one, I actually can indicate by having the largest amplitude of five, again with a phase shift of zero. Okay, I can indicate this signal one one with the blue dot here. So from this blue dot, you can see that they have a magnitude of five and with a phase shift of zero. So now you see the difference between two ASK and four ASK. You probably will ask, what is the difference between two ASK and four ASK? Okay, so in short, okay, for two ASK, every time when you look at the dot, you actually receive one bit of data. But for four ASK, every time you look at this one dot, you actually receive two bits of data. It's either zero, 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 one, one zero or one one. But for two ASK, the dot 
actually represent either a message zero or one. So in short, to compare the difference between four ASK and two ASK, four ASK has a better throughput or better data rate as compared to two ASK. So this is the difference between four level and two level of ASK. They alter the amplitude according to the data or, or according to the baseband signal. So now let's shift to BPSK. Okay, so this P stands for phase. So when the message is zero, I can represent it by a zero phase shift here. And when the message is one, I can represent it by a phase shift of 180 degree. So let's take a quick look how we can use a constellation diagram to represent a BPSK. So from here again, this is in to indicate that the message is zero. So from here, you can see that they have this amplitude of five and with a phase shift of zero as shown from this equation here. Next, when the data is one, I actually can use this blue dot to indicate. Okay, so from this equation here, you can see that they have a magnitude of five but now with a phase shift of 180 degree. So this is 180 degree phase. So therefore I indicate, this blue color dot actually indicate that the data is actually one. So let's quickly do this QPSK okay, with four level. So the message is, can be either 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1 here. So let's quickly take a look on the message zero zero when the message is zero zero i can indicate by the green color dot here so from here you can know that the magnitude is five having a phase shift of zero degree here next what happened here is when the message is zero one i actually can indicate by this equation here from this equation you can see that the magnitude remain constant at five but the phase shift now is 90 degree Okay, so as you can see from this red color dot here, they have a phase shift of 90 degree and with a magnitude of five. So this is how to indicate a message of zero one. Next, when the message is one zero, okay, I can indicate by this purple dot here. So having a phase shift of 270 degree or minus 90 degree. So that's how I can indicate this message one zero with a magnitude of five and a phase shift of two seven zero or minus 90 degree. Last but not least, when the message is one one, okay, I can indicate by this blue dot here. So from this equation, you can see that the magnitude remain constant at five, but now I have a phase shift of 180 degree. So that's how I can represent when the message is one one with a magnitude of five and a phase shift of 180 degree. With this, I'd like to end my video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.